Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 2. In the last episode we have built an Apollo program Wonder of the World in Zurich and are now building the solar plant which should get rid of all this pollution. And we are on the way to finish the research. In this game we are, I don't know, five, six civilization advances um, away from finishing all the research. I think we are more than capable to do it in this episode. So. There are some um, units going this way. I actually should probably move um, these guys to Lausanne and to Fribourg. So you go to Fribourg, please. Fortify. So that we have some uh, help over there. And uh, let's end the turn. Great, more stupid barbarians. We discovered the plastics allow us to build a spaceship component. One of the spin-offs of researching more efficient ways to refine crude oil was the invention of plastics, organic polymer materials that retain their strength when molded into almost any shape. Starting in the 1920s, a flurry of research into the nature and fabrication of plastics resulted in widespread development in the field including formulation of plexiglass and nylon in the late 1930s. The boom in plastic research and development continued into and after the Second World War. Plastics were quickly adopted as cheap, sturdy substitutes for more traditional materials such as glass, rubber and milk. <laughs> Silk, sorry. It seemed that the plastics were one of the most practical achievements of the industrial age. Despite their usefulness, plastics have proven to be an environmental hazard since most plastics are not biodegradable and they are therefore very difficult to dispose of. The significant pollution problem posed by plastics has been partially alleviated through the widespread implementation of recycling programs. Let's invest some time into superconductor and build something else. For example, um, the airport. Why not? It will take two turns. Okay. Let's actually start getting rid of them. Okay. He's a veteran now. Stay here. That's a good place to be. And over here we have more units too. So let's take this tank and uh, go hmm, and stay here. That's fine. End the turn. Actually, we are researching every two turns. Okay. I need to speak to our friends, the Sioux again, and give them all technology. I will do that off camera. So I have given them everything except for espionage, which is the last technology, and. Uh, I'm not giving them that, sorry, and consider the discussion complete. Now we are again on the path to research uh, everything we need every single turn. Let's end the turn then. Swiss scientists discovered the secret of superconductor, allows us to build a spaceship module. Any material through which an electrical current can pass with relatively little resistance is known as a conductor. When an electric current passes through most conductors, part of that current is lost due to resistance, which varies depending on the conductive material and the ambient temperature. Some conductors, when cooled to temperatures near absolute zero, lose all resistance to current. These are known as superconductors. Because no energy is lost to resistance, Superconductors can lead to a wide variety of practical uses. These include superfast computers, powerful electromagnetic fields, strong enough to contain fusion reactions, and a completely efficient generation and transmission of electrical power. Although the extremely low temperatures necessary to produce superconductivity have limited its uses thus far, 
Recent developments hint that some unusual materials may be superconductive even at room temperatures. The isolation and large-scale production of these materials could lead to a new revolution in the field of electronics. Perfect. Let's do the stealth. Okay. Let's attack these guys. And uh, you can still move. So move over there and attack. Come on. You should be able to win with virtually no losses. Build irrigation, build a road, build a road. Okay. Let's uh, let's wait for these guys. You are probably causing some problems there, tank. Or not? Yeah, you actually are. How does it look like? In FISP? And in Montra we have problems. Is it because of you? I think it might be. If you fortify there. Yeah, if he fortifies there, we are still unhappy in Montra. Why would that be? Ah, because of this tank. Hmm. Well, Persians, we have ceased fire. I would like you to go away. Or should I attack them or what? Let's talk to them. Persians. No. No. And we are overruled by the Senate. Permanent peace treaty signed. Well, if that is the case, then I want you to go away. Um, let's share the maps. Use. Okay, I will ask them to go away later. For now, let's uh, do this. Okay, and the turn. Another uprising. Zurich builds airport. Perfect. And we discover the secret of stealth, which allows us to build a stealth fighter and a stealth bomber. It has long been recognized that in warfare the best advantage available is surprise. If one can approach an enemy undetected, the attack has a better chance of being successful. The widespread use of radar starting in the World War II greatly decreased the possibility of surprise for an airborne assault. Planes could be detected from miles away, giving the enemy a chance to prepare for the attack. Over the years, the military has employed many different approaches to solve this problem. The most recent development is stealth technology. Stealth planes are painted with radar-absorbing paint and designed in such a way as to minimize the number of angular surfaces from which an enemy can bounce a radar signal. The engines are also hooded to reduce the plane's heat signature. The result is an aircraft capable of approaching an enemy target, launching an attack and returning to base with little chance of detection. The F-117A stealth fighter was used with great effectiveness by US forces in the Persian Gulf War in 1991. Okay, let's uh, do the fusion power. Switch to something else, like um, the SAM missile battery, which doubles our defense against air units. We don't need that per se, but um, let's build everything in Zurich, why not? Okay, uh, we want to... What do we want to do? Go to Montreux. Fortify here. Actually, you can just build roads. You need to go back to Hur because you are hurt. And we'll see what we can do next. Okay. Yeah, that's all fine. All fine. We have a problem over here, though, with some uh, 
barbarians. One tank. Actually, we don't even know where they are based. I need to use this all the time. Yeah, everybody's fine. Let's end the turn. And we discovered the secret of fusion power. Improved spaceship thrust by 25%. Of no use to us because we have no spaceships in this game. But uh, it's nice nevertheless at least to read about. Nuclear fusion is the process by which two atomic nuclei combine to form one heavier atomic nucleus, giving off tremendous energy as a byproduct. This type of nuclear reaction, which is the process by which stars, such as the Sun, produce heat and light, requires very high temperatures and an enormous amount of pressure to initiate, and a reliable system of fuel containment to sustain. Fusion reactions have been produced in artificial environments on Earth by bombarding deuterium with light, high energy particles accelerated in a cyclotron. Unfortunately, the amount of energy released in the reaction was considerably less than the energy required to accelerate the particles. Brief fusion reactions have been demonstrated in a detonation of thermonuclear weapons, but these reactions are useless for power generations. Power generation because they cannot be controlled. If a way can be found to produce a controlled fusion reaction, this technology offers great promise as a source of electric power. The combination of abundant fuel sources and no harmful byproducts makes fusion power a safe alternative to the dangerous side effects produced by nuclear fission. Okay, and I think we have just researched everything, because there is only um, five more future technologies to be discovered, uh, unless well, I'm not sure. Let's let's research future technology one as well, just to be sure, and uh, then we'll uh, switch off the. Let's kill them as well. Then we'll decrease the tax rate and uh, concentrate on earning money. Okay. We also probably need to switch the government now to something else. Hmm. We'll see. So, very carefully. Everything is fine so far. I just need to get rid of all these um, barbarians and then we'll go for the Persians. Yeah, that's the idea. Oh, there's some more over here. We almost forgot about those. So, where do we have some tanks? We have one in Arosa. Um, but I want to keep one in every city just in case. Okay, in St. Cullen maybe? No. So let's uh, let's actually take this guy, go to Basel. Yeah, that's stupid of you. And um, kill this guy. Perfect. And since you're here, maybe we can use... I don't know. Let's... Uh, Let's build a few more. No, that's stupid. We'll build more later using just our gold. And we discover future technology, which is worth a bonus point in a civilization score. Since the dawn of mankind, human needs and desires have combined to produce ideas and inventions that make life easier and more productive. New technological breakthroughs have become an almost daily occurrence in the modern era, and new ideas will continue to drive human knowledge to higher and higher levels well into the future. Yeah, that's fine. Let's uh, switch to... SDI defense in here 
and uh, let's change the tax rate to one to zero percent science 90 percent taxes actually let's go 20 percent luxuries just in case and our income should be much higher now we have uh, income of 1000 that's very cool that's very cool do you think we can kill this guy as well i'm not so sure to be honest let's just wait a little bit okay then uh, build irrigation over here build a road build irrigation how does it look with you interlock and you now have some surplus we don't need the library anymore you can continue building well whatever marketplace and actually let's have a look at what are we building at all sti defense over here some factories so let's complete those and in here as well okay and the marketplace in interlock and you know what that doesn't even make any sense let's switch to capitalization okay so two factories and that's it good now we have 2000 gold we should get some more excellent even move over there we should get some more let's see how much everybody's celebrating okay here we also need to build that uh, solar plant yeah maybe not capitalization we love the president continue continue everybody loves the president perfect <laughs> well we don't need that at all but uh, since you love me i i don't object irrigate and irrigate or not what are you doing there go to freeburg build a railroad here you need to go and fortify over there i think everybody's fine yep everybody's okay in arosa it's okay and this guy can be changed to tax collector we don't need any scientific nonsense anymore we can actually sell all the libraries and all the universities and such things um i might as well do that yeah why not but what i wanted to do actually is uh, finish reading everything about new buildings which we have researched in this episode and in the next episode we'll read more about all the units which we can now produce and we, and we have a lot of new units so let's actually start with the sdi defense Historically, research in the area of warfare has seen the development of powerful new weapons closely followed by the development of defenses to counteract the weapon's destructive power. The development of nuclear weapons seemed to be the exception to this rule. For the first time, mankind has created a weapon to which there was apparently no effective defense. SDI, Strategic Defense Initiative, however, could be the answer to this problem. Using laser-equipped orbital satellites or ground-launched ABMs, anti-ballistic missiles, to intercept and destroy enemy nuclear missiles in mid-air, the STI defense offers the first hope of negating the threat posed by nuclear missiles. Okay, that uh, might be cool. Let's actually buy this, just in case we need it. And... Um, we can read more about other city improvements 
later. So I think we haven't seen the description of the airport yet. Produces veteran air units and they are completely repaired in the city with airport. Also, if you use airlift, you can move the units between the cities with airport. Since the middle of the 20th century, the airplane has been one of the chief means of long distance transport in the world. Nearly every major metropolitan area today has at least one airport with facilities to handle passengers and ticketing, as well as facilities for refueling and repairing the aircraft that land there. Beginning in the 1940s, the growing role of airplanes as combat vehicles led to the widespread construction of military air bases. Nearly 400 of these facilities in the US alone act as bases and maintenance facilities for aircraft designed to all branches of the military. Okay, then we have uh, read all about these things, barracks, cathedral, courthouse, granary, harbor, hydro plant, manufacturing plant, we also read about. Nuclear plant we did not read about. We can't, I think we can't even build those because we have the Hoover Dam and have the hydro plant everywhere, so we don't need a nuclear plant. But it would basically also increase the factory output by 50%. It's cleaner than the power plant, same as the hydro plant, therefore we couldn't build it in Zurich, for example. But there is a risk of nuclear meltdown unless civilization has discovered fusion. A nuclear meltdown would, uh, well, I don't even remember what that does, but I think it would create a lot of pollution in the vicinity of the city. Nuclear power plants utilize radioactive materials and the process of nuclear fission to generate the heat and steam needed to run electrical generators and produce electricity. Because nuclear power doesn't cause the air pollution associated with the burning of coal or petroleum products, this means of generating power is considered a viable al alternative energy source. However, the toxic nature of the byproducts produced by the fission process creates serious problems of its own. No method of safely disposing of this toxic waste has been found and the volatile nature of the fission reaction can lead to a meltdown of the reactor core if the reaction is not properly controlled. Because of these problems, the future of nuclear power is uncertain. Uh, why did I close that? So, offshore platform, I think we have read about the palace as well, Port West Power Plant Research, SAM uh, missile battery, we haven't read about. We know that it doubles the defense against air units and non nuclear missiles, costs two maintenance, but we haven't read this. The use of airplanes in warfare began in earnest during World War I. By the end of World War II, the use of fighter aircraft and bombers was commonplace, and the importance of air warfare continue to grow, as did the importance of effective anti-aircraft defenses. During the 1950s, the refinement of rocket technology allowed for the construction of compact missiles, which were used to deliver explosive warheads to their targets swiftly and accurately. Batteries of surface-to-air missiles, or SAMs, were built to protect cities and ground installations against airborne attacks. The long range and high accuracy of SAM batteries provided a much more effective defense than the anti-aircraft guns of the Second World War. Perfect. Go back. STI defense. Uh, did we just read about this? I don't remember. Protects everything within three spaces of the city from nuclear attack. Yeah, we have most probably read about that already. Then we have the SS component, module and structural. A solar plant increases factory output by 50%, just like any other factory, but is cleaner than all other forms of power. Basically eliminates all the uh, pollution. One of the greatest natural sources of energy available on Earth is the sun. Solar energy can be converted directly into electrical power without the need for mechanical generators through the use of photoelectric cells. Alternatively, large solar collectors known as heliostats can be used to focus solar energy into a water boiler, generating steam to run conventional electrical turbines. Unfortunately, at our current level of technology, both of these systems are prohibitively expensive to construct. However, because of the dwindling supply of fossil fuels and increasing concern over the pollution produced by conventional and nuclear power plants, 
scientists are constantly working on a viable way to harness the clean and endless supply of energy provided by our sun. Very well, I think we have seen all this, so I will read about spaceship components, modules and structurals in the next episode, uh, I think, or maybe not even that. And uh, for now, I think it's time to uh, end the episode. Let's just kill this guy as well. And when we come back, we'll uh, read more about our super modern military and decide what do we want to do with the Persians. How will we eliminate them from the game? Until then, bye bye.